Well, welcome everybody to Reach and Read. My name is Katie and I work at the Sacramento Public Library. What books are just the beginning. We're so happy to have you and we're happy to have local yoga instructor Kat Sun with us today. And we'll get to her in just a minute, but first I wanted to mention a few things. So first is just some housekeeping. So we are doing this in a webinar format, so all participant microphones and video have been disabled. But if you have a question or a comment that you'd like to share, you can feel free to use the Q&A function that you'll find at the bottom of your screen. And either my cat, myself, or cat will get back to you. If you're having any audio-related issues, please exit the program and re-enter. We find that doing that will typically solve that issue. If you need closed captioning at any point during the program, just click the live transcript button that you'll find at the bottom of your screen. You'll click that button, wait just a moment, and then you'll see the closed captioning pop up and you can follow along. And also this program is being recorded and will be shared to the virtual yoga playlist that's available on our YouTube channel. And in case you haven't checked out our YouTube channel, you can find us under Sacramento Public Library. And make sure to stick around after the yoga demonstration for a short book recommendation based on this week's theme. And I wanted to mention that we have a few other health resources available at the Sacramento Public Library. So we're doing a virtual Zumba program on Mondays at 5.30 and virtual Zumba Gold on Wednesdays at 4. And Zumba Gold is great for beginners and older adults to join. So if you haven't tried it before, that's a good one to start with. And then of course you can check out a book about the benefits of exercise, mindfulness, and yoga from the library collection. And before I pass it over to Kat, I did want to mention that um, we're going to have this session and then next week we'll be back and that's going to actually be our final session for our virtual yoga program. Um, but we will be bringing yoga to our libraries in person. So just keep an eye out for that. Um, more information to come, but I just want to mention that while I have your attention. So with that, I'll go ahead and turn things over to Kat. So Kat, take it away and everyone please enjoy. Great. Thanks so much, Katie. And hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us again. And um, we are still in the theme uh, in the series uh, focused on self-care for caregivers and parents. And today's theme is actually rest. So we will be doing some more um, focused resting. <laughs> Uh, but first we'll have a little bit of movement so that we can move a little bit of energy before we then settle down into resting. Okay, so I hope that sounds good. So with that in mind, you're probably going to want to have some goodies nearby uh, to help support you as we come into some more supported um, postures and then into a final resting um, posture for a bit longer. So you can see behind me, I've got a blanket already laid out. I also have a bolster. If you've got a yoga bolster, I've got a couple of blocks and I have more blankets. So at home, if you have some firm blankets or some cushions, um, pillows, you know, things that are a little bit more firm so that they do give a little more support, those kinds of things can be helpful. Also, you might wanna have something to cover your eyes with, like an eye bag, if you have an eye bag, otherwise just like a, a even a hand towel that, or a washcloth you can roll up and put over your eyes for when we settle into the resting pose. All right, so with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So let's start on our backs as usual. So here I've got a blanket laid out long on my mat so that I can slide and glide on it more easily. If you like, you can also have another folded pillow or a cushion or something, a pillow underneath your head. That's just if you like a little bit of something underneath your head. And then we're going to come onto our backs. As you arrive onto your back, you can have your knees bent with your feet out and your knees knocking in to support each other. Or you can have your legs straight, whatever is comfortable for you. Hands are on the floor by the body if that's comfortable. Otherwise, you can turn the palms down and have your hands on your body. Okay, and then as we settle onto our back, as always, let's take a moment just to really arrive into this present moment together. So as you settle in, start to feel the muscles along your spine relax and soften into the support. Take a nice breath in through your nose and clear it out through your mouth. I'll do that a couple more times. So just a nice full inhalation in through the nose. 
And as you exhale, make some sound. So make the ha sound, the heart sound. And one more time. And then really start to just let yourself settle. Settle in with gravity. Feel the back body touching the ground underneath you. And allow your back body to soften into the support of the earth, the ground underneath you. And then feel your big bones, letting them get heavy. So feeling the back of the heels if your legs are long. Otherwise, feeling the the the, um, the soles of the feet on the floor, if the feet are on the floor with the knees bent. Feel the back of the hips, the hip bones touching the earth, grounding down, back of your shoulder blades, back of the skull. Feel the weight of the arms and the legs. And now take a moment just to scan your body, always taking a moment just to kind of check in where we're at as we begin. So just scanning your physical body, noticing how your body feels this morning at the beginning of our practice together. And then connect in with your breath body. So just notice how you're breathing, feel the texture of your breath. Notice the rhythm of the breath. Notice if it's a little tight or maybe it's a little staccato. Maybe it's already nice and smooth and fluid. So just tuning in. And then also check in with that mentally emotional body this morning, seeing if you've got a busy mind as you come into practice, whatever it is that's occupying your thoughts, can you just let it, just let it rest for a moment. Just give it in to Mother Earth, let her hold it for you while we have this hour to practice together. You can pick it up again later. And then just let your legs, notice any tension in your legs. Can you let your legs just fall away from each other more if the legs are long? Can you soften through the belly, the heart? Relax your jaw now, wiggle your mouth. I mean, open your mouth and wiggle your jaw a little, side to side. Stretch out your face, maybe stretch out your tongue. And then as you let your mouth close, just letting the lips stay nice and soft. Tongue is soft, letting the front of the throat soften towards the back of the throat. Soften the muscles around the eyes and the space between your eyebrows. And then from there, we're just going to bend the knees if the legs are straight. And we're going to hug our knees into our chest. And we're just going to rock gently side to side here. So now tuning into that low back, notice how your low back feels, how the sacrum area feels. And just gently rock a little side to side. And then as always, we're gonna keep the knees together as best we can. You can hold onto the outside of each knee with that hand. And we're gonna circle the knees together in the air. So y'all know we're and kind of circling around the sacrum here. So even though the knees are moving in the air, your awareness is on your low back sacrum as you massage it into the floor. So nice and slow, making sure you're still breathing. And then whenever you're ready, you can just circle it the other way. And also, you don't have to have the hands on the knees if you don't want it. If you want to just circle the knees on your own, that's another option. And then bring it back to neutral. We're gonna hug the knees now into the armpits. So we're opening the knees wide apart from each other. And we're just rocking a little side to side here. Again, open your mouth, stretch out the face. And let's circle the feet now around the ankles. So all 10 toes move in, then up, then out, and down. You're just circling the feet as they mirror each other and circle them the other way. Good, 
Good, and then just point and flex the feet a few times. From here, we're keeping the right knee hugging in. We'll release the left foot onto the floor. And now you're just going to circle your right knee in the air. So you can choose to make that circle as small or as big as you like. Again, just tuning in to how this movement now feels in that right hip socket as you circle the right knee in the air. And whenever you're ready, let's circle it the other way. And then we'll just plant that foot on the floor and we'll hug the left knee in. Just squeeze it into your chest for a moment. And then releasing your hands, you can circle the knee. And if it's better for you to hold the knee, you're welcome to also hold the knee. Otherwise, the arms can rest down as you circle the knee in the air. And again, whenever you're ready, just circle it in the opposite direction. And notice how this movement feels in the left hip socket. Okay, and then let's go ahead and plant that down onto the floor. We're gonna go ahead and stretch both legs long. And now let's roll to the outer edge of the right foot as we slide that right foot up towards the inner groin so the right knee is pointing out to the side. And then you just slide the foot away from you and roll to the outer edge of the left foot and slide the foot up and slide it back down. Back to the outer edge of the right foot, slide the foot up, the knee opens up to the side. This time you're going to roll onto the sole of the foot and then in swing the knee so the inner edge of the foot presses into the floor and then out swing the knee again. You're on the outer edge of the foot and along the outer edge of the foot, stretch the leg long. And other side, outer edge of the left foot, slide the foot up and roll onto the sole of the foot, then in swing the knee, and then open that knee back out to the side and along the outer edge of the foot, slide the foot away. Back to the outer edge of the right foot, we're sliding the foot up, we're coming onto the sole of the foot, this time you in-swing the knee and you press into the inner edge of the foot and you lift the right hip towards the left a little bit. You're rolling to the outer left hip. So the right hip lifts, but the left hip stays grounded. And it's just a little bit of an arch and twist back bend on this right side. You keep the right shoulder heavy and then you bring it back onto the floor. And again, press it. Let the knee in swing, press to the inner edge of the foot as you send that right hip towards the left a little bit. A little bit of an arch back bend, twist, and bring it back. And maybe let's just do it one more time. Make sure you're still breathing, just staying with that nice, even rhythmic breath. And bring it back onto the floor. And then from there, we're rolling to the inner edge of the foot, and we'll stretch the leg. We'll slide the foot away and let the foot roll out. And then outer edge of the left foot, slide the foot up onto the sole of the foot, in swing the knee, press through the inner edge of the foot to lift the left hip now. You're rolling to the outer right hip as that left hip lifts. You keep the left shoulder heavy behind you. And then again, you release onto your back. You in swing the knee, you press through the inner edge of the foot into the floor to lift that left hip towards the right. And again, back onto your back. And just one more time. Bring it back down. So now to the inner edge of the foot, we lengthen that leg, slide it away, and let the foot roll out. Okay. From here, let's go ahead. Uh, I need to move my bolster out of the way, sorry. We're gonna go ahead and open our arms out wide into a T. And we'll bend the knees now, feet on the floor. Walk the feet a little bit wider apart from each other if you can, maybe even mat width apart if that's comfortable. Arms are out to a T and your palms are up, back of the hands are on the floor. We're gonna take a breath in and as we exhale, spin your head to the right, keep your left shoulder, left arm, left hand heavy and try to slide the left hand away from you as you keep spinning your head to the right. Back through center and other side. 
and back to center again. This time, spin your head to the right, let your knees drop to the left. So again, a little bit of an arch and back bend, twist, back through center, and over to the second side. So knees and head in opposite directions. You're welcome to just oscillate with the breath. Or you can pause on one side for a few rounds of breath. And then moving to the other side when you're ready. And pausing for a few rounds of breath on the other side. So again, just noticing how this movement feels for your body this morning. Okay. Next time you come back to center, pausing here, keep your feet grounded. We're gonna pick the arms up, palms touch, and line up your fingertips. Keep your fingertips, uh, actually slide your right hand up towards the ceiling. So your right shoulder starts to lift off the floor and then press your left shoulder into the floor as you slide the left hand down towards you. But both arms still stay straight without locking the elbows. Try to keep the elbows um, not locked, but keep the arms straight. And then you're gonna slide that right hand down, back to neutral, lining up the fingertips. And then the other side, slide your left hand up towards the ceiling. So the left shoulder lifts off the floor. And now you're pressing your right shoulder into the floor and back to neutral. Just one more time each side. Right hand slides up as the left shoulder presses down into the floor. And then back through center and second side. And back to neutral here. Good. From here, you're going to keep your palms together, fingertips lined up, keep your elbows straight as best you can. And now you're just going to slide your hands so imagine if your hands are like a clock dial and they're pointing up to 12 o'clock. Now you're gonna go ahead and slide your hands over to one o'clock and maybe to two o'clock, but keeping the elbows straight. And then bring it back to the 12 o'clock, straight up through center. And when you're ready, sliding the hands now, like a, like a little uh, sundial, you're gonna slide it over to 11 o'clock, maybe towards 10 o'clock and back to neutral. Again, slide it over to one o'clock and back to 12, you're straight up and sliding the hands over to the left or 11 o'clock if you're on the face of the clock and back to neutral again. Okay, from here, you're gonna release the hands down. We're going to walk our feet back in, hip width apart, and we're going to lift the right foot and cross that right ankle past the left knee, and we flex the right foot. We're just going to do a little breathing into the hips and for the low back. So from here, slide your hands into the hip crease. So heels of the palms slide into the hip crease as you gently press your low back into the floor. And now we're going to take that right hand into the hole between the legs as we lift the left foot, clasp behind the thigh, or maybe you're going to use your strap. If your hands don't easily clasp, use a strap or something to extend the reach and clap and slide that behind the left thigh. Keep your right foot flexed. Keep sending that right knee away from you as you start to use your hands or the strap to bring the left knee in a little bit. And breathe into this outer right hip area. And then here, if your left foot is lifted, you can circle that left foot around the left ankle. And if you're circling that foot, just circle it the other way. And then you're gonna point and flex the left foot a few times. And we flex the foot as we press the heel up. And then you point the toes and you bend the knee, you bring it back down. So we're gonna floss it twice more. So again, flex the foot first and press up through the heel to lengthen the back line. And then point the toes, bend the knee, bring it back down. One more time, flex and send it up. And now once that leg is up, if you're ready, you can keep it up. If it's better for you to keep moving it up and down, then continue to move it up and down with the breath. If you're keeping the left foot lifted, now flex that foot and press the back of the hamstring into your hands or the strap. And then again, you can circle the foot in the air and circle it the other way. 
and point and flex. And then we're going to bring the foot back down. And we're going to open our arms out into the T. Walk your left foot to the left side of the mat. Take that breath in. And exhale, rock the knees to the right. So weight of the right ankle helps the inner left knee down towards the floor. So now we're getting a stretch through the front of that left thigh. Front quads, maybe your psoas, hip flexor, maybe you feel in that left place, low belly region. Wherever it is, just breathe into where, where you feel it. Here, take a nice breath in through your nose and a clearing breath out through your mouth. Now we're gonna bring it back up. We're gonna walk that left foot to the center of the mat. And now we're gonna slide the right ankle down the out seam of the left shin so that you end up with your right thigh crossed over your left thigh. Just like if you were seated in a chair and you got your thighs your right thigh crossed over your left, like in a cross-legged seated uh, chair position. Okay. Now, with your right thigh on top of your left, you're gonna start to rock your knees to the right a little bit. So just a little bit, right? So not very far. And then bring it back to neutral. And again, slide the knees over to the right a little. And bring it back to center. And just one more time. And back to neutral. Here we go. Now bring your hands back up to that sundial position. As you slide your knees to the right now, slide your hands to the left. So knees and hands move in opposite direction. And then back to neutral. And again, knees to the right, hands to the left. And back to neutral. One more time. So the knees are sliding towards the top leg. So whatever leg is crossed on top, you're sliding in that, that direction. The hands are moving in the opposite direction. And then back to neutral we come. And we'll just go ahead and release and cross that leg. All right. And then now keeping your right foot grounded, you're gonna lift the left foot and cross your left ankle past the right knee, flexing the left foot, send the left knee away from you, slide your hands down into the hip crease and gently press the thigh bones away from you towards the bottom of the mat as you press your low back into the floor. Keep the back of the neck nice and long, breathing here. Keeping that left foot gently flexed now. Next step is taking that left hand, so the foot that's lifted, that's the hand you're gonna take into the hole. And then you lift your right foot off the floor and clasp behind the right thigh or use your strap if you need. So again, as you use your hands or your strap to bring the right knee in towards you, keep that left foot gently flexed and think about sending the left knee away from you. And breathe into that outer left hip. Maybe wiggle out your jaw a little, soften through your mouth and your tongue. Make sure your breath is nice. And even. Okay, so from here, that right foot can circle around the right ankle. And then circle that foot in the opposite direction. And then we're going to point and flex it a few times. Now, next time you flex the foot, again, you're going to press the heel up to the sky. And then point the toes, bend the knee, bring it back. Again, flex first and lengthen the back line. And then point and bend the knee. One more time. And either pausing this time with your foot lifted or you can continue to move it up and down if that's better. If you're able to keep the foot lifted here, back of the leg nice and long, pressing out through that heel, spread the sole of the foot, spread the toes. Then start to press the back of the hamstring into your hands or the strap that you got back there and vice versa. So there's a little bit of resistance. And now you can circle that lifted right foot in the air and circle it the other way. And then again, point and flex it a few times and keep it flexed. 
From here, we'll bend the knee and we'll bring the foot down. Again, we're gonna open our arms out wide into the T, palms up, walking the right foot out to the left, I mean, to the right side of the mat. As you exhale, both knees rock over to the left. So you're rolling to the inner edge of the right foot, inner right knee is moving towards the floor, weight of the left ankle helps the right knee down towards the floor. And we're maybe getting a stretch here, some sensation at the top right quads, hip flexor, low belly, waist area. We'll take a nice breath in, take in a clearing breath out. And then we gently bring it back to center and walk that right foot into the center of the mat. From here, we slide that left ankle along the out seam of the right shin so that we end up with our left thigh crossed over the right thigh. And then we're gonna start to rock the knees over to the left. So the left leg's on top, we're taking the knees over towards that direction. Just, and it doesn't need to go very far, but you're just starting to rock. So you're rocking to the inner edge of that right foot that's on the floor as you take the knees over to the left. And then you bring it back to center. And you're just coming into that, out of that a few times. The next time you come back to neutral, let's bring the hands back up into the sundial position, palms together, fingertips line up. So keeping the fingertips lined up as best you can, keeping the elbows straight without locking them. We're gonna slide the knees to the left as we slide the hands to the right. So knees and hands are going in opposite direction. Your knees are sliding in the direction of whatever leg is on top in that cross. And your hands are going in the opposite direction. Just one more time. And then bring it back to neutral. And again, relax your arms down, uncross your legs, and let both legs go long. And just take a moment here. Nice deep breath in, nice breath out. Okay. Just let the energy move through, feel the gentle pulsations. Yeah, maybe open your mouth and wiggle out your jaw. Let your tongue stay soft, face is soft, throat is soft. And from there, we'll go ahead and bend one knee at a time. Feet on the floor, and we're gonna roll over to one side in order to press ourselves on up. We're just gonna do a little bit of cat-cow on our hands and our knees. So you can keep the blanket down. We won't really be up long. We're just gonna do some cat cows and then we'll be coming into some more restorative um, stuff. But if it doesn't work for you to be on hands and knees, you can stay seated. So maybe sit up on a lift or sit up on a chair, or you can also do that undulation of the spine on your back, right? But so if you're coming onto hands and knees, tabletop, do cat cow, then stack your shoulders over your wrist. Your hands are about shoulder width apart. Broaden your palms and ground the ball of the index finger in the thumb mount. So the two inner points of that palm, get those two points grounded, and then you spread the palm nice and broad to ground the rest of the hand. But keep the two inner points, especially the ball of the index finger. See if you can keep it grounded. And then your hips are stacked over your knees and your knees are hip width apart. From here, as we inhale, we broaden our sit bones and we think about sliding the sit bones up towards the ceiling. As you do so, the belly will naturally hammock down towards the floor, but can you keep your navel hugging up towards the spine? Slide your shoulder blades down the back, away from the ears, glide your heart forward, chin up, look up, maybe open your mouth and stretch out your tongue. As you exhale, close your mouth, round up. So tailbone down, kidneys lift, chin towards the chest, crown of the head towards the floor. Inhaling, arching through cow pose, shoulder blades down the back. Exhaling, rounding up into cat pose, really inflate the space between the shoulder blades. Imagine your kidneys are lifting up. So maybe you close your eyes. 
just enjoy this nice fluid movement. And in your mind's eye, see each vertebrae articulating. So each vertebrae of the spine has a little bit of movement from the next one. As you undulate that energy up through the spine. Okay, and then from there, we're going to go ahead and just come onto our belly. So stack your hands underneath your forehead and just take a moment here. And just feel, feel how it, different it feels to be on your belly versus your back. So feel the front body now on the earth. Notice where the front body is making contact with the support underneath you. Forehead is grounded onto the hand pillow. You've created your elbows are winging out to the sides. Your shoulder blades are sliding down the back away from your ear. And here, just take a few rounds of breath and notice the breath moving in and out. And maybe you feel that expansion and contraction now in your back body. Notice where the front body is contacting the earth and wherever you're making contact with the earth, again, soften into the support. Really just surrender to it. Release whatever it is you're holding on to. Release it into the earth. And now with our forehead down, our belly down, we're just going to open our right knee out to the side. Bring it out to hip height, just 90 degrees out. And then, so the inner edge of the right foot is on the floor and the foot is stacked underneath the knee. So it's not way in here and it's not way out there. It's just stacked right under the knee, like 90 degrees from torso to thigh, 90 degrees from thigh to shin. So again, your hip, your knee isn't way hitched way up, nor is it like down here, right? And then just breathe into this little stretch in your inner right groin inner right thigh, nice and easy, a supported posture. And when you're ready, let's slide that knee back in, so both legs long again. Just notice any difference from one side to the other from that. And then as you're ready, go ahead, change the hand stack. So other hand stacks on top for the forehead and then open that left knee out to the left. So again, bring the knee hip height and then stack the foot right underneath the ankle. So 90 degrees from torso to thigh, 90 degrees from thigh to shin. Forehead down and just breathe here now into the inner groin, inner thigh stretch on the left side. Good, and then let's go ahead and gently bring it back in. Both legs long. Take a moment with both legs long. And then just one little um, back bend, heart, heart lifting here. So start to press your toenails into the floor. Start to activate those legs as you press the toenails down. The kneecaps might lift off the floor. Of the outer ankles in a little bit, roll your inner thighs up towards the ceiling. Then lengthen your tailbone down towards the heels of the feet. And then press the front of the pubic bone down as you press your hands down and you start to lift your heart off the floor. Shrug your shoulder blades down the back and telescope the back of the neck back at the scalp up. So you're not crunching to look up. Instead, looking down and forward 
elongate the back of the neck, back of the skull. And then think about lifting your navel up towards your chin. Keep pinning your tailbone down into the floor now. Press the front of the pubic bone into the floor. Keep your low back long. And then slowly, slowly, let's bring it back down. Take another beat with your forehead down. Take a nice breath in and just sigh it out. <sighs> okay, and then we're gonna roll back onto our back. So back on our backs now. Put your right back onto your back. Go ahead and just hug the knees back into your chest and rock a little side to side like we started. And then you can release that. Open your arms out wide into a T. Actually, um, you might, here you might want to have something over to one side. We're just gonna come into a gentle twist. So maybe I'll give a few different twist options and you can see what works for you, but I'll give you a few different uh, supine twist options. So the first twist option is just with your knees bent. You're just gonna hug your knees up. You're gonna lift your feet off the floor, hug your knees in towards you, and then let your knees roll over to the right. So here, if the knee doesn't easily make it down, this is where you might want to have a cushion or some blankets off to the right, right, to catch you. And then if your knees are separated, you might want to have like a rolled up blanket between them or a block or something between them so that the top knee, the left knee that's on top feels like there's some support for it. Okay, so that's the first option. Otherwise, another twist option you could do is you can stretch your right leg long and then plant your left foot on top of the right. Again, you might want to have something here off to the side. And then as you spin to the right, now that left knee can be supported onto like a cushion or some stack blankets or something you have there. And then the arms stay open into a T if that's comfortable. You're trying your best to keep that left shoulder just nice and heavy behind you. As you come into your twist, just take a few rounds of breath here. Again, feel free at any time just to make some noise or take a sigh to release. Maybe open your mouth again, wiggling out the jaw. You can see what feels better for your neck and your head. Does it feel better to turn your head in the same direction as the knee in the direction of the twist? Or does it feel like to look back at the hand behind you, left behind? One more breath in here and exhale it out. Bring your head back to neutral and roll back onto your back. Once you're on your back, you're gonna find neutral. So neutralize the spine first. And then we're gonna come into the second side. So again, either both knees bent and just lifting your feet off the floor, hugging your knees in and then letting both knees rock over to the left. Again, having something there maybe to catch you or something between the knees if you need or the second option is to stretch the left leg long, uh, to lengthen the left leg long, and then you bring the right foot on top of the left thigh, and then you can take that right knee over to the left, keeping the right shoulder heavy behind you. Just taking a twist that works in your body, making sure you feel supported, take the support you need so you can just settle into it a bit. And take a few rounds of breath here. And then we'll slowly unwind and come back onto our backs. Once you're back onto your back, if it feels good, maybe you hug your knees in one more time and a little gentle rock. And then you're gonna find a supported posture so that you can rest into. So here, I'm gonna show some different examples. First off, you're gonna want something maybe underneath your head. So either a little pillow, a cushion, or a folded blanket for your head. 
right? And then it's nice to have something underneath the back of the thighs and knee. So if you do have a, a bolster at home, you can pull that in and make sure that it's supporting the back of the thigh and the knee there, right? Then you lay down and your arms up to the side and then you cover your eyes. If you don't have the bolster, but you have some yoga blocks, you can always use yoga blocks instead. But you wanna set yourself up for a nice Shavasana. Or if you don't have a bolster, but you got a couple of blocks and a blanket, you can also make kind of a makeshift bolster by just laying a blanket long ways over the, the blocks, right? And then you just sort of made a bolster. And again, get that so that behind the thigh and back of the knee is supported and then the heels of the feet are grounded onto a soft surface. And then palms can be turned up, arms out to the sides. Since it's hot, you might want to make sure you've got plenty of space between your arms and your body and plenty of space between your legs. But don't bring the arms up so high where the shoulders start to um, impinge the neck and, and hug up into the ears. So arms don't need to be way out to the side, just out, way up. They just, you know, out from the body a little bit. And then back of the hands on the floor, spin your palms and face up, slide your shoulder blades down. And just let your feet roll away from each other now. Let your palms. So now, but for some people, if your palms are facing up and you find the back of your hands hovering, you know, so some of us are like this, then that's not very supported. So unless you have more blankets and cushions to put underneath it so that they are supported, otherwise turn your palms down and just place your hands maybe on your body. And again, cover your eyes if you have something to cover your eyes with. So that if you have an eye pillow, you use the eye pillow. If not, maybe there's a piece of cloth or a piece of clothing or a towel you can use or a yoga strap, something to cover your eyes and to block out the light. And as you settle into this pose now, take a nice breath in again through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. And now can you keep your lips and your teeth slightly parted? Start to let your jaw be heavy. Let your chin drop a little bit. Feel your tongue short and broad. Let the dome of the mouth be spacious. And start to soften your throat. Let the front, throat, front of the throat begin to soften towards the back of the throat. And soften all the skin of the body. Again, feel where your body's making contact to the support underneath you. And let yourself soften into the support melting into the support of the earth. Let the front of the body soften towards the back of the body. And feel your four limbs heavy now. Feel the arms and the legs heavy. Feel the bones, the big bones of the body, heavy. So again, back of the heels, back of the hips, back of the shoulders, back of the skull. And then even the smaller bones of the body become heavy as they sink into the earth. And as the bones become heavy and sink into the earth, can you start to soften the muscles that are around the bones, letting the muscles release their grip. And again, softening the skin over the muscles, letting the skin soften and melt. Feel your belly soft. Feel your 
diaphragm, soft and pliable. Feel your heart soft and buoyant. Allow that front of, the, front of the throat to continue to soften towards the back of the throat. Muscles around the mouth are relaxed. Muscles along the cheeks and sinuses relax. Soften around the eyes, the ears. Soften the space between your eyebrows and all the muscles of the forehead, the temples. So any stress you're still holding on to in the face, just let it melt off of your face into the earth. Now soften your ears and the inner ears. And soften the space between the inner ears. As you relax around the eyes, allow your eyeballs to gently begin to sink towards the back of the skull. Imagine the eyeballs now are suspended in a soothing, cool, liquid blue. The most beautiful blue. And then let your inner gaze settle and rest into your heart center. And then surrendering it all. Trust that you are receiving the rest and the healing that you need. There's nothing to do now, nothing to accomplish. Just going to walk you through a journey in your body. If you drift off, it's okay. If you stay with me, that's fine too. There's nothing to do here. If you come along on the journey, you can start to bring your awareness and just notice your right thumb. Your right thumb. And then notice the other four fingers of your right hand. Notice all five fingers of the right hand, the right palm. Notice the back of the right hand, and your whole right hand. Feel the whole right hand. Feel the right wrist, the right elbow. Feel your right shoulder. Feel the whole right arm all the way down to the right hand. From the shoulder down to the elbow, the wrist palm, fingertips, the whole right arm and hand. And then bring your awareness to your left thumb. Just notice your left thumb. And notice the 
four other fingers of your left hand. Now notice all five fingers of the left hand. And feel your left palm. Feel the back of your left hand. And now feel the whole left hand, the front and the back of the hand, palm and all five fingers, the whole left hand. And then bring your awareness to the left wrist. And the left elbow. And notice your left shoulder. Now, feel the whole left arm from the shoulder down to the elbow, down to the wrist, into the whole left hand, all the way into the fingertips. The whole left arm from the shoulder all the way down into the Whole left arm and hand. Now bring your awareness into your big right toe. Your big right toe. Just notice your big right toe. And then notice the four other toes of the right foot. Just notice all five toes of your right foot. And feel the sole of the right foot. Feel the top of the right foot. Now notice the whole right foot, the whole right foot. Then feel your right ankle. Your right ankle. And bring your awareness to your right knee. And bring your awareness to your right hip. Now feel your whole right leg from your right hip down to your right knee, down to your right ankle, and all the way down through your right foot to the tips of the toes. The whole right leg and foot. Bring your awareness now to your left big toe. Your left big toe. Notice the four other toes of the left foot. So bring your awareness into all five toes of the left foot. Feel the sole of the left foot. Feel the top of the left foot. And feel the whole left foot. 
the whole left foot. And feel your left ankle now. Your awareness to the left ankle. to your left knee, your left knee. And then bring your awareness to your left hip, your left hip. And now, feel your whole left leg from your left hip down to the left knee, down to the left ankle, the whole left foot all the way to the tips of the toes, the whole left leg from hip all the way down through the foot to the tips of the toes. Now feel both legs, both legs. And feel both arms. Feel all four limbs. Bring your awareness back to your heart center. So you're welcome to stay resting for as long as you like. And I'm going to be turning things back over to Kate. So thank you all for joining us. Thank you so much, Kat, for another wonderful session. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen so you can see the book recommendations for this week. Here we go. Let me get back to the ones for this week. Let's take a trip down memory lane here. Okay. All right. So this week's theme is rest. So we actually saw a book by this author, Catherine May last time called Enchantment, but she has another book called Wintering, The Power of Rest and Retreat in Difficult Times. And it's a per personal story of enduring a painful time with her family, which led her to leaving her demanding job. And uh, it's instruction of the transformative power of rest and retreat. So I think that's a nice reminder to all of us that there's a lot of benefit to resting our bodies, our minds, our spirit, all of that. It just helps us in the long run. So that's the first recommendation. And then for our younger readers, I have this book called Snooze Fest, The Surprising Science of Sleep by Tanya Lloyd Key and Valerie Goulet. And it's for ages 11 to 14. And it talks about why sleep is so important, what's happening to our bodies while we sleep, and why we dream and explains why teens and tweens aren't getting enough sleep. So it's a really great one uh, with lots of good tips um, into sleep and, and why it's so important. Um, so I wanted to mention that one as well. So I hope that you enjoy those um, recommendations. And um, thank you again for joining us. A big thank you to Kat. We'll be back next week, uh, Thursday, August 24th at 10 a.m. So we hope to see you then. So um, to find a library location near you, sign up for a library card, or to learn about upcoming programs for all ages, just go to www.saclibrary.org. So for Kat, myself, and the Sacramento Public Library, thank you so much and be well. Bye.